All right, you're probably here because you've been thinking about getting into tech. And someone mentioned this unknown term you've never heard before called DevOps. And maybe you're still unsure about what it even means. After you've watched a few videos, Googling, exploring what DevOps is, and it probably just looks like a bunch of programming languages put together. And that's a very normal reaction, by the way. But let's actually break it down properly. My name is Murad and I am a lead DevOps engineer. And I actually come from a completely non-technical background. So I know the exact feeling that you're going through when you've never heard of DevOps before. And I'll be simply breaking it down in this video, what DevOps actually is. First of all, you have to understand that DevOps isn't actually a tool and it's not even actually a job. That's what people actually get wrong here. It's a mindset. DevOps stands for developer operations. It's basically how developers and operation teams work together to build, test and release software in a smoother and faster way. So in simple terms, imagine you build an app. Someone has to test it, someone has to put it live and someone has to make sure it stays live without crashing. That whole process, making it smooth, automated and reliable is where DevOps comes in. It comes in throughout the whole software lifecycle. It's not just tech stuff for the sake of it, it's solving real problems. Like how do we deploy this app without any downtime? How do we make sure to roll back if something breaks? How do we make sure teams aren't stepping on each other's toes and they're working in a cohesive and effective way? These are the important questions that you need to become familiar with if you want to be a DevOps engineer. And you learn the tools to help you do that, like Docker, Terraform, Git, CI CD pipelines, but the tools are just a way to build confidence and solve problems. Now, why do people start with DevOps instead of just learning to code? Well, here's the thing, coding is great, but if you only focus on that, you might feel stuck after a while. Like, cool, you built a website, but now what? Especially with the rise of AI, in which there's a tool out there that could build the website faster than you can and better. DevOps opens more doors. You get to understand how systems work, how infrastructure is managed, how teams ship real projects. And most companies need people who can think like that, especially as everything is migrating towards the cloud. And this is important. You don't need to be a 10 out of 10 at everything in order to get started. You just need to learn in the right order and apply what you learn and be willing to get your hands dirty. Most beginners make two mistakes. They either try to learn everything at once or they jump between Kubernetes, Jenkins, Bash, scripting, Python, AWS, and get confused by these long-winded roadmaps that they find online. They don't actually build anything. They watch 100 tutorials, get stuck into tutorial hell, but never try to set something up from scratch. And then in interviews, they can't explain what they've done because they haven't actually done anything. What you need instead of this is to start small. Just learn one thing at a time. Build a few simple projects that actually work end to end. Understand what problem each tool is actually solving. That's how you start building confidence. That's how people actually go from zero to getting hired. So if you are new, don't stress. Everyone starts somewhere. Nobody knows what YAML is on day one and no one knows how to use Git properly at the beginning. We've all been there when we've seen that black screen, that terminal that looks like someone's coding on the matrix and it's really intimidating. It all comes with time and practice. Your only job right now is to be consistent. Don't rush it. Don't compare yourself to others and focus on understanding, not memorizing. Even if you're just learning how to write a Docker file or spin up a virtual machine, it's progress. And if you're learning through a program or with someone guiding you, that's great. It saves you months of time. But even if you're doing this solo, just stick with it. Build small, ask questions, take breaks when you need to. You're not falling behind. You're learning something most people are too scared to even start. Anyway, that's all this video is. Just giving you a calm, clear picture of what DevOps is really about and how you could actually approach it. You don't need to get everything perfect. You don't need to be super technical. You just need to stay consistent and treat it like a skill you're building, not a sprint. So if you are serious about tech and curious about DevOps, just know it's actually a solid path that has real skills, real jobs, and a clear way to get started. You got this.